How is everyone doing? Happy Monday. We had a fantastic masterclass last Friday, and I talked about thyroid labs and five reasons why your thyroid labs might be off. And I want to share them here in the group for those of you that weren't able to attend. So every day this week, I'm going to cover one of those five reasons why your labs um, may have come back normal and they're not normal. So today we're going to be talking about the TSH test and why that one is not a reliable test and also how your numbers could be normal when they're not. So the TSH test is looking at thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. That is a message that is sent from your brain to your thyroid and it stimulates the thyroid to make T4. So it does exactly what it suggests. It th stimulates the thyroid, thyroid stimulating hormone. So that message will tell the thyroid to make T4. And then that T4 has to convert into T3 through the liver. And that's what our cells can actually use. So TSH, um, it's supposed to be a, a message loop that is sent, meaning that if the cells aren't getting the T3, that your TSH should yell louder and tell your thyroid to make more. This is the theory. Therefore, if you have a thyroid problem, your TSH number will go up, 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 because essentially your brain is saying, make more thyroid, make more. We're not getting any in the cells. That is how it's supposed to work. Now it doesn't work that way for a lot of people. And that is why the TSH test is not very reliable, but I have a couple slides I want to share that will talk more about this test. And reason number one, the TSH range is too broad. So the standard lab range for TSH is 0.5 to five. That is huge. So that means that if you have like 0.6 or you have 4.99, you will be told that you're normal. And both of those numbers are way outside of what is healthy for the thyroid. Now, the problem with this range is it is set by unhealthy people. So what they did is they had people with thyroid disease come in and get their labs drawn. And then after they had hundreds of thousands of cases, they took the average numbers of these people and they said, okay, this is normal. So the TSH gets a lot of criticism because the numbers were set by unhealthy people. What we know now is people with optimal functioning thyroids, their TSH is around one to 1.5. So I like to see TSH below one. If you're on thyroid medication, it can be even lower because the thyroid medication will suppress your TSH. So especially if you're on a T4 or T3 blend, like Armour Thyroid, Nature Thyroid, WP, um, any of those, it will suppress your uh, TSH. Like when I was taking armor, my TSH was like 0 0.007 for a long time and I felt good. So know that if you're on medication, it will be lower. So the range is way too broad. We're looking at unhealthy people to tell us what our numbers should be. Now, this is a picture of uh, a lab test. You may have one just like it. It shows the TSH right here is 3.51. And this is one of my clients who was told that she is normal, even though she's having, um, experiences with weight gain, hair loss, uh, poor digestion, she's exhausted. She's having cold hands and feet. All of those thyroid symptoms are happening, but she went to her doctor, they pulled her TSH and they said, Oh, that's normal. That's below five. You're fine. So the problem with this is she is three and a half times what her number should be. So that suggests that her brain is saying, make more, I need more hormone, please somebody get me more. And it's sending that message to her thyroid, but we have no idea what's happening with her thyroid on a T4 level. We also don't know if that T4 is converting to T3. So this lab test is not very helpful. It shows us that, yeah, there's likely a problem, but because the range is so big, they didn't do any other testing. So TSH, not my favorite test. Um, it can be helpful with the other numbers, but 
it's not, it's not a diagnostic test. And that's what most doctors run. They only look at TSH. So if you have only had TSH and your number is above one, I highly recommend you ask for more labs. Now, some things that can impact the TSH result, this is important to know because, um, many times we will get our TSH ran and the number will be actually one or two. And that is not a reflection of what's going on. So some things that impact it, vitamins, specifically vitamins with biotin, they can suppress your TSH. So your TSH could be around six or seven, but because you're taking, um, those vitamins, it's pushing the TSH down, meaning you can still have a thyroid problem, but your vitamin has masked the test. So if you are taking vitamins, it's good to stop taking them, um, at least a few days before the test, um, a couple of weeks before can be more accurate. Um, if you exercise before the test, it will suppress your TSH. So they found that, um, women can have a TSH around eight or nine. And when they exercise, it can push it down sometimes five points. So that's significant. Um, my son's joining us and we're also live. So I'm going to get him set up to go over here. There you go, love. Um, stress, stress will suppress your TSH. So exercise and stress, this can be an issue if you're rushing to your doctor's appointment and you have to go up a flight of stairs that actually can suppress your TSH. And then your reading, um, will come back lower than it actually is. Prescription meds, um, things like antacids, um, blood pressure pills. Uh, there's all kinds of pills that will change your TSH reading. So if you're on multiple prescription meds, talk to your doctor about that and talk to your pharmacist because you may not be getting an accurate um, lab result. The time of day that your labs are taken. We know that TSH fluctuates throughout the day. It's usually higher in the morning. So um, I like to see thyroid labs in the morning or in the afternoon, um, usually around like a 2 PM, because that gives us an accurate view of how your thyroid hormone curve is working. Um, last thing, chemical sweeteners, they can cause your TSH to rise. So if you're drinking a lot of, um, diet sodas or crystal light or any, um, artificially sweetened, like zero calorie things, they can suppress your thyroid function and that will cause your TSH number to rise. So these are things to look out for, um, that could impact your test. But the, the ultimate thing I want you to know is if you've only had a TSH test drawn and you suspect you have a thyroid problem, you should do some deeper testing and I'll drop, um, below this video in the comments, I'll drop an image of the recommended thyroid test that I like to see. And, um, you can also drop your labs if you have questions on yours and we can chat about them. Okay. Let me see if anyone's here and has questions. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and toss them in the comments. Cause I would love to answer any questions you have about labs. All right. Okay. Well, comment below and I will chat with you soon.